Hey YouTube, Texas Gear Reviews here. So we're finally going to do a uh, review on the Red Rock Compact Assault Pack. Um, I really wanted to use this pack for a little bit before I did a review on it so I can tell you guys if it's comfortable and tell you if it's going to hold up. I've taken it out once, but I have used it quite a bit, just throwing it around. Um, I've had it full of gear. I went ahead and emptied out all the gear. You can see it's kind of dirty. I emptied out all the gear on it. That way uh, you can see what it looks like closed. Now, I do have some things attached to it that won't come off, like the shovel and my Leatherman tool. Um, just know there's a row of vertical webbing underneath both of these. I think it's what, I can't tell, like six straps like this, but they just go vertical. It's the uh, same kind of webbing, just goes the opposite way. Um, I just wanted to throw that out there before I start the review. Cost on this pack, you're looking at about $45 to $70. Now, when I say $45 to $70, it's a... Uh, the ones that are $69.99 are going to be the ABU. If you want this in ABU, uh, plan on paying a little bit more money. And I believe it's either the Coyote Brown or the Olive Drab is a little bit more expensive. It comes in a lot of colors. Black, uh, Coyote Brown, I've seen them in red with uh, black stitching, black, black stitching, black with yellow stitching. Uh, digital camo, olive drab, and ABU. Uh, I believe there's a few more out there, but I'm not sure what they are. Dimensions on this are nine and a half inches by 13 inches by 18 and a half inches high. Uh, capacity is 2,285 cubic inches altogether. Uh, it's got four compartments on it. You have your main compartment, your medium compartment. This is your large, medium, uh, and this one they split up into two different compartments on the very front of it. Um, all the pockets have dividers, internal park, uh, pockets and stuff like that, so it's great for like organization and keep your stuff organized in it. Uh, it does have a hydration pocket on the back of it with Velcro. It can hold, I believe it's up to a two and a half liter bladder, uh, hydration bladder, something like that. Don't, don't get me lying to you. Um, may, it may be two liter. I know it's at least two liter, but it might be a two and a half liter. Uh, 600 denier PVC construction, heavy duty Cordura quality nylon. Now, I've heard different things from different places. I've watched one review on it and the guy said it was Cordura quality. Uh, then when you read the packing that comes with the pack, it says it is Cordura nylon. So I'm just going to say Cordura quality, but it may be uh, actual Cordura. Uh, nylon uh, with waterproof coated interior. Um, it has compression straps. All these are comp compression straps and then the straps themselves have velcro keepers on them so you can keep them rolled up, keep them out of the way. Uh, we're going to fill this pack up and let you see it, what it looks like when it's full at the end of this video. Uh, so compression straps all the way around it. It does have a waist belt, or a waist strap, and a sternum strap as well. Uh, padded backing with mesh for ventilation. Uh, doesn't ventilate that well, I'll say that right now. Heavy duty shoulder straps. Uh, nice, thick, quality shoulder straps with D-rings and this top handle. And I can uh, say this top handle, this is how I hang my packs from the top handle. Uh, when this pack's full, it's probably close to 50 pounds, and uh, the stitching on the handle's holding up very well. The stitching throughout's holding up very well. The only place I did notice the stitching may be a little bit uh, weak is on the actual webbing itself. Uh, I had a Fox Outdoors tactical pouch connected to the outside of it. And if you know those things, they stick out about that far away from the webbing, and it was actually pulling down on the webbing and I could see where it would eventually probably make the molly strap come undone and I have seen uh, videos of people's packs that the strapping did come undone so I took that pouch off to make sure it didn't mess it up anymore um, so yeah that's about all the technicals I have on it the closest competitor to this pack is going to be the uh, Maxpedition Falcon 2 which runs right around 150 bucks and it's actually a little bit smaller than this bag uh, it's less cubic inches uh, the capacity is smaller I don't know about the actual dimensions but I know one of the pockets or something smaller on it because it has uh, less cubic inches than this bag does 
um, and that pack runs about 150 bucks compared to 50 bucks. Uh, you should be able to pick this one up for 45, 40. I've seen them as low as 40, uh, but we'll say 45 to 70 just to be safe. Make sure I covered everything here. All right, so let's jump into it. I'll tell you what uh, most people wrote about this. I uh, read a, quite a few reviews. There ain't a whole bunch out there on it, but. Uh, the ones I did read, a lot of them were upset with how small it was. Um, you know, they received it and it wasn't as big as they thought it was. If they had just took a ruler out and uh, kind of visualized how big the pack was, they would have seen it's not a three-day assault pack. It's not made to be a three-day assault pack. Uh, they should have went with a large assault pack if they were going to uh, want something a little bit bigger. I wanted something smaller, um, so this is what I ended up with. And I knew what I was getting before I bought it, so... Uh, a lot of the bad reviews out there on it are, are just about the size, and then there was one bad review a guy put about the uh, actual strapping. Uh, the stitching started to come undone on a couple of them, so it looks quality. Um, I could say it's got heavy-duty zippers on it. I don't see the zippers breaking down anytime soon. Um, great quality, thick, thick nylon. Um, I don't think it would be good for like a hiking pack or anything like that in that it weighs uh, over two pounds. The pack alone weighs like 2.3 ounces or something like that. So it's a heavy pack. It's not light at all. Um, I can say, you know, maybe an overnight pack. If you wanted to use it as an overnight pack, it, it, you'd be stretching it, but it could work, especially if you added extra pockets to the outside like we've done. Uh, and a lot of my gear, I strap to different parts of the... Uh, compression straps and stuff like that. Um, I can put a tent, our small tent can fit under these. Uh, these straps right here strap the tent to the bottom of the pack, stuff like that. Uh, so we found ways to make it work for uh, an extended stay, just not very long. Uh, I would call it more of a day pack, EDC pack, something like that, something, you know, a get home bag in your car, something like that it would be great for. Uh, I use it as a bug out bag. This is what my bug out bag is. Um, and I can tell you that it, it it's uncomfortable. It uh, will put some wear and tear on your shoulders. The, the, waist, the waist strap is kind of useless. Uh, so is the sternum strap. They don't uh, add much support to it. <clears throat> but it's not so uncomfortable that I couldn't see myself hiking, you know, 10 to 15 miles with this thing on my back. I could. I could probably do it without uh, moaning and groaning too much, uh, but yeah, it it's just not the most comfortable pack. I'll just throw that out there. Uh, I do like it. I think it's well worth the money. We're gonna give this. Oh man, it's kind of hard to decide because I haven't uh, done as much with it as I want to, but we have done enough with it that I can you know rate it, and I can always change the rate later on when we do an update review on this. Uh, I've only had this for about three or four months now, by the way. Uh, we're gonna say four out of five stars, man. I think it's uh, I think it's well worth it for the price, um, for the capacity for what you're getting on the price. You know, you're not gonna get a much bigger pack for for what you pay for this one. Uh, you can always go buy one of the SOG assault packs or something like that from Walmart, uh, but then you're going to downgrade your quality. It's not gonna be a quality uh, bag like this one, and this one is a quality bag for a knockoff bag. Uh, you know, Red Rock's not top of the line, but uh, it's by far uh, much better than like SOG packs or something like that. So I love the pack itself, four out of five stars. We may update that in the future. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this packed up and get it full and show you what we've done with it, and we'll be right back. All right, so you can see uh, just because it's a small pack doesn't mean you can't get a lot into it. Um, we have stuff packed all over this thing. We utilize the molly, uh, the compression straps, everything. First aid kit, canteen kit, binoculars, flashlight, charger and batteries, water filter kit, flashlight, uh, fire starter kit, knife sharpener, uh, another little cheap lantern. On the side of this thing I have a Mora knife, a Leatherman, a uh, machete. I use the Molly to put my zip ties down in and my uh, tent stakes. And then on this side, I did the same thing with a tube. Well, you're probably not going to be able to see it, a tube of 22 caliber. Just some extra ammo that's guaranteed to stay dry. It's sealed inside of a tube. So it's a cool little pack. Uh, 
you know, just because there's not a lot of room inside doesn't mean you can't utilize the webbing on the outside to pack your extra gear. You can see I've got this thing packed full. Uh, right now it's, I think, 47 pounds, 48 pounds, just under 50 pounds with all this gear. So, uh, and there's a gun in there, there's ammo for the gun, there's a lot of stuff in this pack. Uh, cook set, uh, man extra clothes, there's a little bit of food in there, maps, uh, there's just a whole arsenal of, of gear in there that we packed in there and then what we couldn't fit in there we found pouches. Uh, these are beer koozies and packed those full of gear and stuck them on the outside and it works out so um, I like the pack again four out of five stars that's going to be it for this one as always thanks for watching YouTube.